After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged a campaign of peace. Live long. And... 21 years ago, the star of the Hoba system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. The Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared, and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. Hello, humans and non-humans alike, and good ever plus you. Today we are back on Star Trek Online, Starfleet, yes, well, let's play, where we aren't listening to the Klingons at all about the ambassador being a shapeshifter, even though he acts nothing like a normal Vulcan. And he refuses to state his reasons for going to the guy, and again, he doesn't act like a Vulcan at all. There is nothing about him that says Vulcan. No offense to the rest of the Vulcans, but Vulcans as a species are pretty much clones of each other. I mean, sure, they technically have different personality quirks, on and so forth, but they all obey the whole logic thing. And they speak in a very analytical manner. These guys clearly aren't doing... this guy clearly isn't doing it. Therefore, he is most likely a shapeshifter. He should have been detained immediately. I am so sorry, Klingons. I am sorry Starfleet is full of idiots. I apologize. On behalf of Starfleet, please, execute the Undine. I have no control... ...over this whatsoever. <sighs> I really don't care. Just, just let's just keep going. I'm just gonna be depressed when I kill these Klingons for this entire mission because they're probably right. Everything about this dude has been sketchy as shit. He doesn't like transporters, and it's completely illogical. Wing Vulcans are literally just logic. They don't do illogical things. If he can't justify his fear of transporters logically, he's not a Vulcan. At the very least, he is a Romulan spy. I mean, they look pretty much the same. They are pretty much the same. They're just offshoots. Religious differences. And there's the Abbot. Coming with. 
Sir, you seem away from Vulcan. Pella says she must speak to you immediately. I bet you through to the tricorder. I have terrible news. Vulcan security forces have discovered the body of Ambassador Soketh. They have determined that he was killed by a phaser blast. You need to be very careful. This imposter was able to fool Sokes' closest associates for months. He is crafty and. Captain, security teams have reached me at Sokes' guards, but he's gone. They're searching the ship, but sir, an authorized use of transport is detected. The Vulcan government is requesting that the imposter Sokes be detained and returned to Vulcan for questioning. Sir, whoever used a transport erased the logs. We have a feeling that the imposter is on the planet's surface. A feeling? Really? You have a feeling. Such emotion on your face. I see now my deception has been exposed. Pity. Capturing the abbot so we could replace him as well would have been beneficial. But we are strong. We will prevail. You are weak, and the weak shall perish. No, I would have had you detained as soon as we entered the system. And as Klingon said, you were an Undine infiltrator. There, take the radiation. Is he detained? No, oh, no, no. Bother some creatures! Why should I trouble myself with such insignificant beings, when the Klingons will do my work for me? Warriors, prepare for battle! Yes, There is sir. a group of Starfleet officers behind me! One of them is the foul shapeshifter! I'm returning to the ship! Don't let them leave this planet alive! Kapa! Yes, sir. Well, so much for staying vigilant, guys. Shit. Look, I would have addressed the Klingon. I don't mean to insult your honor, sir. But if I don't have proof to show to my superiors that this guy is an infiltrator, it'll be my head on a pike. Therefore, could a couple of your officers beam to the ship with me so we can discuss this? You know? Just... Come on, people. Why do I have to kill all these Klingons? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Blame them. They make me do this. They make me do this foolishness. I am so sorry. Captain appears to cut... Indian is ludicrous, I haven't picked up residues or trace of transport to the vicinity. Eh, we'll find it. I'm so sorry, Klingon map. Okay. Okay, that was a pretty bad hit. To the headphones. Sorry, headphones. Shit, Undine um, ship on an intercept course. All right, then target them for torpedoes. Warning. Ship is under attack. Yeah. Okay, so you're just gonna have me. Yeah, no, I'm good. We don't need to replay that. Target shields have failed. Oh fuck. Okay, that is a uh, pretty powerful. All right, I'll power the shields. I want you to get ready to shoot the next plasma torpedo that comes. Okay, maybe not that. To, uh, okay, that plasma torpedo. Rear shield failing. Remodulate the shield frequency. Why aren't you doing it? Because it's in my quick use slot. In my quick use slot, it won't use the damn thing. Yay! Reinforcement! Yield you and beam! Target shields have failed. 
Because I seriously doubt that the Indian give a shit about the Mycenaean stuff. They think they're superior to everything because they live in fluidic space. Now target the pus- Target the fucking torpedo! Four shields failing. Wait, did we just get pushed back? Oh, fuck. Okay, we are dying pretty hard, aren't we? At open fire. We don't have anything to heal the hull yet, so uh, try not to get too damaged. And I said try, I know there's a good chance you're not going to. Alright, come on, people. Take the damn thing out already. Yes, it's an arm star fleet, but you still made me kill a bunch of Klingons for no good reason. Now you die. And all power to forward shield. We only have the one torpedo tube. They're healing. These fuckers got hull healing. That's cheating. You cheater. I don't suppose you'd be so kind as to blow up already. As in, blow up already. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you call the endurance rock. It's less about who does the more damage and as well as who will last longer. This one Uzin ship or this fleet of Starfleet ships. The goal is that we'll win. The outcome, unlikely. Yes, 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 we get it. Scan the debris. Maybe apologize to the Klingons? You mentioned USS Challenger, Captain Taylor. This is Captain LaForge of the USS Challenger. Glad to see we made it here in time to lend you a hand. Perhaps you'll return the favor someday. LaForge out. Yes, LaForge! And we're going to meet him actually never in this last fight. <laughs> I think so, anyway. Uh, fine, we should just create the ship. Alright then, depart system. Uh, give it to Starfleet Intelligence and maybe we'll meet that, um... Drake? Is his name something?
Drake something, something Drake. The ambassador was an Undine? I'm afraid their infiltration of the Federation goes much deeper than we realized. Who knows what kind of havoc they could create? Yeah, you should have listened to the clan. Congratulations, Lieutenant. And now we get Your more shit. Your inventory has a replicator that allows you to buy and sell items. Your I am aware. Your inventory has a replicator. Your inventory has a you replicator can purchase that allows you to buy and sell items. Okay, please go away. Go, shoo. Shoo, bet there for Get Get away from me. Stop trying to hawk your useless shit on me. Reaching each milestone will unlock additional bonuses uh, or bridge officer training manual recipe. Shield capacity is a good thing to have, and I guess kit performance. Uh, Alright then, what's next? How much time do we even have after we had to unfortunately kill a bunch of Klingons? <laughs> I'm so sorry! Hide and seek. This mission briefing is classified. I've been working with Starfleet Intelligence to crack the Undine coded message you found at Pajem. We think we have something. There are several references to the Pulsin Nebula in the data. Starfleet needs you to survey the nebula and find out why the Undine have an interest in it. Be careful. I've been in that nebula before. The composition of the clouds may screen opponents from your sensors. Except, alright, let's do this. Trying to kill more Undine, I think. I have no recollection. I didn't do any of this shit. Uh, data bank, any information on all sectors? Klingon neutral sector. My friend sacrificed so much to. Okay. Oh, it's the ones I have to find them first. Okay. I can't just automatically get them all. I have to go to every single sector and find them. Alright. Wait, do they have that, uh. Oh. Oh, they have the Phoenix Rise back thing every day. I forgot about that. I completely forgot about that. Oh well. I'm really hoping this is the third one, because if the last one is the third one, that means I got an extra video I gotta do something with. I don't keep extra videos because I just don't have the space for it. I mean, shit, after everything uploads, I have to delete it to make space for the next week's stuff. It's annoying, people. Struggle! The struggle to try to do YouTube on a PlayStation 4 with only 2 terabytes. And it's almost completely full. This the USS Valor. Mm. Signal development were on the way. Why is there a Federation ship here? Considering that it looks like their infiltration of the Federation has been more successful than the Klingons, maybe we should just blow up the Valor now to be safe. Ship is under attack. That's not me expressing my dislike of the Federation and hoping that it'll cause some death. No, no, of course not. I am not stupidly a Klingon infiltrator. Plus the Klingons don't have infiltrators like that. They don't do the whole assassination thing usually. Actually, ever. Their covert operatives still run and, and go in front of people and challenge them to duels to the death. So, again. Thank you for the assist. Our ship is on a mission to map the Pulsan Nebula. Unfortunately, we failed to adequately compensate for the power drain the Nebula had on our engines. I have we doubts. from the Nebula to make repairs. That's when we stumbled upon an illegal Gorn mining operation. Presumably the Gorn didn't take that well. If you hadn't shown up when you did, we'd be sucking vacuum. Our chief engineer says there's no way we can make it back to a starbase. In fact, 
without new dilithium crystals. We're stuck. Sounds like we arrived just in time. There are crystals on some of the larger asteroids here. That's why we headed for this location in the first place. If you could gather some crystals for us, we can make it to safety. Send us a hail if you have any questions about the nebula. Uh, we, we would can. be happy to share our data. Yep. Alright, now we gotta go on a mining trip. Can we please, please message LaForge and ask if there was actually any missions to map the Pulsar Nebula. If they had secret communications, then there's a good chance that they fuck that these are that there is at least one infiltrator on that ship, if not just a ship full of infiltrators. Just beam the damn crystals aboard, please. Eh, nope, couldn't avoid that fight. Alright, about face. Ready the high yield torpedo. Open fire. I actually don't mind killing Gorn too much. And I know they're a part of the KDF and everything, but you're in my way. Got about Phoenix Prize pack thing. Shit. Well, I guess it's something to do after this. Uh, but it's already almost time I go to sleep. <laughs> How can we help you? There was an area with an unusually high rate of metallic density. We wanted to. How can we help you? All right, yeah, send me the coordinates. They're approaching the Valor's position. Wait, here's a question. How the hell did the KDF find out that an Undine infiltrator was aboard? Oh. Bye-bye, Valor. Um, you appear to be dead in the water. And by dead, I mean you should have exploded by now. Warning. Ah, plot armor. The best armor around. Can't get nothing better than that. Target shield has failed. Launch high yield to the Open fire. All weapons. Dispatch Warwick and Ajax to bring back the body. Flash! What the hell is that? Not ignore it and just go straight to the ship. It's about to blow up anyway. Open fire. Target shield has failed. Okay, we're gonna need to about face if we wanna actually destroy this damn thing. Oh starter ship. Oh starter ship. You don't have Ah, torpedoes. Alright, let's deliver this dilithium and. We're hopefully... in your debt. This is enough dilithium to get our warp engines restarted. After we finish preliminary repairs, we'll set course for Starbase 157. If you want to go into the Pulsan Nebula, your engines will need a boost. I recommend you visit Lackey 3. The Gorn drove out the Federation miners there and took over a decalithium processing facility. It's only fair that you take some of our crystals back. Thank you for the advice, Haller. Libertad out. And let's warp to Lackey 3. Let me guess. Uh, what, wait, what happened to Lackey 1 and 2? Did they die because the hero burst through the door and crushed them? <laughs> Dilithium, decalithium, shit. Alright, let's just kill them all then. You're in my way. Warning, ship is under attack. Goodbye, Gorn. You're not really Klingon. You're part of the KDF and shit, but you're not Klingon. So I'll kill you with impunity. And pretty sure some people just beamed it behind us. So uh, let's uh, beam up this nickel and get out of here. 
ten we can't get a lock on the deck unless the amount. Fuck. Something's jamming our ability to lock and beam it out. Probably a nearby jamming station. Detecting suspicious attacking on emissions and signs of Klingon technology. This is more than a simple Gordon mining operation. We need to destroy that jamming station and get the decolithium. We may not be able to beam the decolithium out, but it won't stop us from beaming a spatial charge down. Alright, uh, the charge of prayer, we can beam them over as soon as we're in transport range. General warning broadcast the signal just before we start the transport. Damn, lady, you just, uh, dropping spatial charges into people's homes? I guess you just really like your killing, don't you? I mean, sure, Klingons technically killed our captain in a very cowardly manner. But most Klingons aren't like that it is. Target shield has failed. It was a good captain. Our captain, not the Klingon one. He was an idiot who was a disgrace to the KDF. Like my previous captain, who I had to kill in honorable combat. <laughs> that character is former captain. You know the drill. Alright, beam charges to the jamming station. Blow it up! I don't even know why we bothered. Wait, I'm shocked he even bothered sending out a distress signal. And it doesn't seem... I mean, I guess it seems Starfleety, but we're kind of at war with these people, you know? Beam the fucking decolithium up. Warning. Damn it, I wanted to do it while we were out of range. Oh well, gonna go kill things. Target shield has failed. Apologies, I'm just used to fights not churning out in my favor this one. <laughs> the game gets harder as you progress. Fights don't go anywhere nearly this smoothly. Or maybe that's just because I have bad equipment. Because again, they kind of stopped giving you ships at level 40. Alright, uh, take us back to the Pulse of Nebula. Wait, don't we have to examine this place? 4.7%! Alright then, take us to the Pulse of Nebula. Wait, what happened with the timer? My, my timer went away. Okay, no, it's there. It's back. Yay! It's back, and we got four minutes remaining, and then I am free. <laughs> Alright, just scan this thing. Get this shit over with. Alright, don't give a shit. Just start scanning. Played out and abandoned. I'm guessing this would be a good place to house some type of secret facility. As usually what people do in weird ass nebulas. Let's put our secret facility right here where it can't be scanned so we don't have to spend the cash on any type of electronic uh, jamming devices. Well, so you hire a bunch of freelancers. Wait, didn't we just take it out or did we scan it? I, I, I actually didn't notice. Yes, yes, two anomalies of which we will not be scanning either. Yep, oh, no, we're in firing range. Ship is under attack. Go ahead and. Oh. That is a lot of fucking mines. Damn it, they're behind us. We don't have torpedoes back there. We're asking for attack on the Alright, get ready to fire high yield torpedoes. We're getting in range. Ah, when fights with us easy. Okay, answering this. Escher is found by gravitic mines playing on manufacturer. 
Yeah, structure on the surface. Uh, any transmissions? High frequency ship. Anyway, the structure is some sort of a listening station. Yeah, Alright then, let's beam me down. Away team, go. No, I never understood. Why do you take your first officer with you almost everywhere? They're the person who's supposed to replace you if you die. They're basically the vice president. They're, they're like the last person. They're the person that's secured so that when the whole entire leadership dies, you technically still have leadership. Nobody expects it to actually happen. Of course, it eventually one day might happen. And everyone's fucked. It's like, oh shit. Who's the extra guy? Nobody knows who he even is. Okay, let me get this straight. My secret time travel stuff, somehow my communications officer knows about it. Oh, Star Trek Online, you are fun, and you do make someone feel like they're really a captain in the Star Trek universe. But, at the same time, continuity. You have big problems with it in the writing occasionally. Well, this is Swordmaster, and me without a weapon. Oh, what do you do with your laser? What do you do with the drunk sailor? What do you do with the drunken starship captain? What do you do with the drunk captain? Alright, uh, we got the computer core and we still gotta look for the Psychonian stuff though. Uh, we don't need to scan that. Uh, oh, here it is. Delta recruits! The Klingons don't have much more information about the Iconians than we do. We all thought they were a lost race, destroyed more than 200,000 years ago in the orbital bombardment of their homeworld. And perhaps that was almost true. The Iconians act through cat's paws and servitors. We only know of one confirmed sighting of an actual Iconian, but, but that hasn't happened in your timeline yet. Perhaps there are only a few of them left. How many rules are you breaking of the temporal... Uh, Prime Accords, whatever the fuck you call them. Prime Directives. I mean, shit! Anyway, uh, wait, let's see what happens when we, uh, transmit this data. Uh, okay, never mind. Anyway, that's all time for this episode. So thank you for watching, remember to like, comment, subscribe if you like, and comment, subscribe, and remember to follow me on Twitter for channel updates whenever I get around to those other I should say that kind of shit out loud. Pictures of dogs and cats, and whatever else I decide to put up there. Goodbye, humans and non humans alike, and whatever applies to you. And damn, do I hate fucking time travel. Child <laughs>